Peace. My name is Shaquan May. Um, I am here on the behalf of Talk Pittsburgh. We are here in the Upper Hill with Miss Irma Coy. Irma Coy, Miss Miss Coy, uh, how are you? I'm doing real good. That's good. That's good. I was been. I've been like checking out all your your <laughs> bling. My and bling. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. So I want to know. Tell me. Tell me about you. Me. Um. Like I told you, I just retired last June, and I bought myself a Kindle, and I sort of went kind of crazy. <laughs> and uh, I didn't like Kindle fires before, mm -hmm. but I started reading. I always loved to read. Mm -hmm. Since July of last year, I've read about 650 books. Wow. So I just started reading on Goodreads and doing my interviews. Oh. So, and, and then getting more involved in the community because it's something I wanted to do, but I didn't have the time. When you work, all you can do is work, come home, work, come home. So now I can get out and about. I'm doing that. That's great. So tell me about your upbringing. Where you come from? Where I was born? born and raised here in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. on the hill. When they brought me home, they brought me home to 2112 Webster. Yes. That's on the corner of Trenton Webster. And my life began there. Um, I love the Hill District. I always have because this is the only thing I know. The only time I was away from the Hill was the 10 years that I was married. The minute I got divorced, I came right back to the Hill. I'm no more off, never leaving again. Mm -hmm. They can carry me off in a box. <laughs> That's it. I'm here to stay. That's Great. And my parents, my father was born down on Mercer Street at home. Mm -hmm. My mother is from Tennessee. Both of them are deceased now, but we would have lived on the north side, but my grandmother, after the 36 flood, she said, that's enough, redoing houses. She said, when the water goes recedes, we're going to higher ground. And that's how we became Hillites. Mm. And that's where we stayed. Wow. That's, I think no one else has ever put it like that about the hill. Wow. It know. was a self-contained unit at one mm. time. I didn't think anything else existed mm. other than the hill. Wow. My first trip to town, I thought we were going out of town because mm. I lived and existed in the hill district. Oh, well, tell me about that. I want to hear about it. It was great visits. living in the hill district. Mm. As a child, I had a great childhood. Uh, there, it, It's so different now, it sometimes makes me so sad I want to cry. If I dwell on it too long, it makes me very upset because as I've seen so much change. I was born, at, I always say I was born at the right time because I came in on the tail end of the good and proceeded into the downward spiral of the bad. So when I was coming up, the hill, you didn't need to leave it unless you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So we went shopping, we did everything, shoes, clothes, all up and down Center Avenue. My grandma would take me shopping and we'd go down to the butchers and then the bakers and uh, the green grocers, and at that time they had horses and wagons and hucksters, you know, and they had like the ice ball man, the hot tamale man. I mean, to me, summer was great, you know. I didn't realize that you had to, that was before my school, prior to school years. But like I said, I lived there on uh, Webster. I had a great time. I'm the baby of the family. Mm -hmm. There was only two of us girls, and uh, I just love it. I know a lot of people talk about the hill, but not me. I've always loved it. Mm -hmm. I've never feared it. I, I, like I said, I've always loved it here. Mm. Okay, so in addition to that, what are some names? And I know you got some names. I know you got some <laughs> families. Automatically, they just make you laugh and smile. I want to know these <laughs> names. You mean my parents? Yeah, it could be your parents. It could be your friends. Well, the Hill House has meant a lot to me because I, I have pictures at, in my family album when I was like four, right outside the side building of the Kaufman Center. So my grandmother lived right there across the street. So the Hill House was a big thing. And for, we used to go to plays and everything. And then I went to McKelvey grade school and I'd look across the street at the old Hill City was there. I couldn't wait to get out of school to go to all my, my clubs and things, you know. That's, I don't, I don't know if you know Carl Redwood. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl Redwood's father was a counselor there, and he did our crime prevention club. Oh, he took us on field trips. We went to Heinz, we went to the bacon place. We saw a lot of things, you know. This is what we did as children, and we had, uh, I had a home nursing class, and, but I went to the Hill City, but what was funny was I used to sit in 
Miss Hammond's class in Lust to get across the street to Hill City. Mm -hmm. Who knew? I'm ten years later, a marriage, two kids. I wound up volunteering there mm -hmm. in 1983. Wow! So I went there. I volunteered for five years, and I told him I was going to have to get a real job. I couldn't keep doing this. He said, "Wait," and you know. So the director at the time, Jean Williams, she said. Let me see what I can do. So I said, I have to have a job with benefits. And she worked something, and I wound up working there. Yay! So I worked there until 1993, and then I went to the main building in the Hill House, and I worked in accounting for until, like, the end of the 90s. And then when I came back, I went to the outside area, the reception area up on the second floor where our administrative offices are. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from there, I retired. Wow, that is just about amazing. I just, I used to, I, I just ended my job at the Hill House. Did you? And I, I did, I used to work with the children at the after school program. And, okay. And um, I definitely do enjoy, I loved work, I love working on the Hill because I'm born and raised Well, the Hill House has a lot of memories oh for God, me. I, I love it. The love of the Hill House will never leave. Mm. I always tell people if you you it's like an infection. Mm. Once you get the Hill House bug, you always you'll never forget it. You'll always it'll hold something special for you. Mm -hmm. A lot of love, especially at the time when I was there it was Mr. Henry was there one as the mm. director. So me and him was good buddies. Mm. I loved Tim so. Wow. So in addition to the past and the present, what do you think the Hill has for the future? It looks pretty bleak to me. I'm hoping for the best. You know, I have some projects that I'm helping out on, especially the curtain call, because I have pictures that are involved in that. Mm -hmm. And I really would like to see that come to be down at the, where they're going to build that park, so they said. Mm -hmm. So I'm how, trying to help with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did meet uh, Professor Walter Hood, and lo and behold, he used three of my pictures. And uh, mm. my uh, mother, no, I have a favorite picture of my parents since I was could see. It was always in my living room, and it was a picture of them kissing in, when they got engaged in 1938. Wow. So when, when I was in my 30s, I think they gave me a copy of it, and uh, that's in the album, you know. So I gave that picture. That's the one I wanted them to use. Well, I gave. Well, I got there, and I took all the pictures, not all of them, but as many as I could carry in the, in the old family photo album, and then I took that to the Hill House when they were scanning them in. Well, I gave them 40 pictures almost. I was oh, sat down wow. there so long, and then I said, okay, that's enough. But I was just so, I was shocked when I got a call to that they, that he used my pictures in his, talk out in California at the college. Well, they sent me the link, and me and my daughter sit down. We're just sitting there, and I'm waiting to see the kiss come up. Well, finally, you know, Mom and Dad, we're squealing and screaming. So we kept looking, and Kim says, that's my daughter. She said, Ma, that's you. Well, it, lo and behold, it was a picture of me in my fabulous 40s. <laughs> and I was on my way. It was in 1980. Three or 87, I can't mm -hmm. remember. But anyway, I'm standing there with this outfit I made in all different shades of lavender. Wow. A lot of people think it's white. But see, my friends that emailed me the link didn't know he had used three pictures. Then it goes on, and he's talking and talking about the hill, and he does a great job of talking about the hill, being an urban jungle that it is. And then up comes this photo. It's a picture of the Crawford Grill. It's another one of mine's. My dad at the head of the table. I have to show you. I brought him oh, to show you. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. But, oh, Wow, just so that's that's what I would love to see my parents on glass blocks. So you know, I'd get the kids to go down and film it for me. Right there, you go. So you <laughs> so want that's, I want to you, you see that. You want to You want to celebrate? Yes, the, I think the that would be the legacy of the, of the Hill District. That's, yes, that, and that's beautiful. And it, it, yes, it's yeah. a beautiful place. Yes, you have to love it or you don't. Yes. <laughs> Miss Coy, I, I'm in debt. Uh, it's 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 so beautiful. I think it's amazing to uh, interview you. It's definitely a light. Oh, definitely thank feels you. very very good. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to my mother. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. Like, well, thank you. Oh, thank you very much, madam. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. 
Oh, you make me feel so good. <laughs> you do. You do. You're infectious. Oh, my Pretty goodness. Pretty much I've been yeah. told that. So you're, you're not fabulous 40. Yes. Do you want to show us what you're doing? Yes, I yes, do. Yes, please do. Okay. This is Professor Hood. Uh, this, uh-huh. He came, and that's the time I got to meet him. Mm-hmm. And then me and him took a picture. Okay. And that's the kiss. And that's the Crawford Grill picture. Okay, now the Crawford Grill has historically been like one of the like that might be a Timmy Harris picture, but I couldn't get it at least. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get it out of the album. Oh my gosh! But it's that's so him at the head of the table. It's him all the way at the head. Yeah, at wow. the uh, that's the he paid for that, so my mom said. <laughs> She wasn't uh, too happy about and now, it. Now, Teeny Harris is very historic because he yeah. regularly only had enough for one shot. So that's definitely amazing. And then there's a picture of him and them two. That's Indian when they got engaged. engaged and, and that's at McKelvey pissed. Reservoir before they locked people out of it. That used to be a Sunday outing. We'd go up to the reservoir and picnic, you know. Wow, and it was then, a, it was then wow. And that, that was in 1938 when they okay. got engaged. Okay. That's the picture he used of me. Okay. And that's them in 1941. Okay. And this is my daughter. This was her graduation day. Okay. And that's my son. Okay. As you see him sticking his hand in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the amazingness in here. And that outfit is. I made that. Because I used to make everything I wore. Oh. You don't I put on fashion shows. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't do it anymore? No. I might have to call you. I never <laughs> sold for other people. Though. Oh, you it's, should. It's, no, I shouldn't. If you ever son sold for other people, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Well, it's just what I'm saying is, is that the craftsmanship is just about. We well, see amazing. it's a it's a tuxedo roll collar, right. which was the That's hardest what I'm thing. And each panel, it was different shades of lavender. Oh. Now, I made the same one for her graduation from grade school in black and white. It's that just was my, even sharper. This is, uh, this is my grandmother all over again. My I love grandmother to sew. Well, my, a, I've been sewing since I was four. That's what I'm saying. My grandmother made a jean jacket, mm-hmm. a, a blouse, and a jean skirt. Well, see, I, used, I started sewing because I was never a lightweight person, so you couldn't find anything That's decent. Right. That's exactly what and my grandmother And plus, my said. grandmother told me when I was four, when I first started sewing the, the little runners, the embroidery hook and the loop and the hoop and everything. Right. And then, and then I know I, I, I my job was to press do the presser foot on the old singer. Right. Right. That's where you got up to sewing. And I like I said I've been sewing. Oh boy, did that hurt your fingers? I know. But I had to learn. So my grandma said I had to learn to sew because I was short and I couldn't buy things off the rack because I wasn't built for it. I said, Well, uh... gee, thanks, grandma. <laughs> And this is amazing. Yeah. I love I love pictures. I do. I do. I do. I do. This is amazing. This Miss Coy, you are amazing. So those I are the do. three pictures. I'm hoping that if they ever build a glass thing, yes. that they'll get. I want let's, the kiss let's on there. This picture one more time. I wanted How that one on that there. One. They were going at it. Oh um, yeah. How old were your parents when they got married? Nineteen. They had to get permission. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I have a picture of my mother and my now, father. He had, my dad had graduated early because he was a, a nerd. Mm-hmm. And my mom came out, and mm. then they got married right after she got out mm-hmm. of school. Look at Maggie that? and Oliver Reddick. Maggie and Oliver. Yep. Mm. I love it. <laughs> a pleasure, Miss Cole. Yeah, well, I've, I've enjoyed it. <sighs> okay. So, like, Ten pounds later. It just feels so good. That's beautiful. Okay.